Yeah, you know, there's a country music lyric that goes, rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey. Rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey. Well, it turns out that uh, during the coronavirus crisis, that same recipe, rain, corn, whiskey, makes a pretty good hand sanitizer, too. Usually, they bottle and barrel bourbon here at Southern Distilling in Statesville. Carolina craft bourbons, gold medal winners, you know, the good stuff. We'll make their bourbon, we'll age their bourbon. We've got several award-winning bourbons that are out in the market right now. But Pete Barger says for now, his whiskey will have to wait. As Southern's owner turns his tasting room, his 40-foot tall column still, and his entire distillery into hand sanitizer central. We're not filling barrels of bourbon and rye whiskey anymore. We're now switching all of that and did switch all of that over to hand sanitizer production. There is a great demand for that right now. So you, you, you've tripled your output, you've doubled your workforce in the matter of weeks. Two weeks. Wow, that's, most companies can't turn on a dime like that. We're nimble yeah. and we don't sleep. <laughs> so we pretty much, you know, camped out here. So here we are, you know, we're cranking out now, I think 15,000 bottles a day of hand sanitizer mm. and have capacity to do a lot more than that. Barger shows us the three new 15,000 gallon fermentation tanks up and running two months early to keep up with all the orders for hand sanitizer they're taking. All the cases of hand sanitizer they're making and sending out by the truckload. Right now, those trucks are, are really, they're going across the nation. So we sent out, I think, uh, I can't remember, 100 cases to the city of Irvine, California Police Department yesterday. So we prioritized this so that we would take care of first responders and health care, elder care first, mm -hmm. and then everybody else would kind of drop in. So I think we've gotten the majority of the first responder needs uh, taken care of at this point. The distillery is also taking care of Statesville's local need for jobs during all the coronavirus layoffs. I labeled the hand sanitizer bottles, put the bottle in here, hit the foot pedal, and the sticker rolls onto the bottle. Yeah. How many bottles? We do about 4,000 a shift, sometimes more than that. That's a lot of bottles of hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Amber Holbrook says the seven-day shifts making sanitizer help her make up for the lost hours at Holbrook's restaurant shop. I work at Captain's Galley, and um, with everything that's been shut down, the restaurant business has slowed down tremendously. I work in togos. We cut down to three days a week. And, and how busy has it been here? Nonstop, seven days a week. Knowing that you're helping in this pandemic sounds kind of crazy, but it's just a sense of pride. If this is not glamorous work. But again, you know, the majority of those folks that we brought on board to help with the bottling line, most of those folks were display service workers, and they're really happy. You know, even though it's not glamorous and it doesn't pay great, they're happy to have something to do. And frankly, I think that they're proud to be contributing, yeah. uh, you know, to the fight that we're all in right now. I'm really proud of, of this crew. You know, as I told you earlier, it's like, I don't know a lot of these people, but I know their spirit and um, their heart, and it's great to see how hard they're working. Barger adds that his all local distillery suppliers are also staying busy. We're fortunate that most of our vendors are here in North Carolina. So our box manufacturer, our label manufacturers out of High Point. I was just talking with our label manufacturer, you know, I said, you know, we knew that we were going to build a business together. Mm -hmm but we never thought we'd be buying a half million labels for hand sanitizer from you, <laughs> did you? So, but that's kind of where we are. Same story for corn, which the distillery uses to make all that alcohol for hand sanitizer, up to 30,000 pounds of corn a day. They've been a good customer. Uh, it's a new market for the corn. Trent Cloninger's family has been farming this land for three generations planting corn rows in this rye field, seeding for this year's corn crop, and storing thousands of pounds of corn from last year's crop in these huge steel silos. Which is exactly what Southern Distilling needs right now, all the corn it can get from Kloninger, all the corn he can stow and grow.
You ever thought you'd be growing corn for hand sanitizer? No, never did. Feel like you're doing your part a little bit? Well, I guess so. They don't have a lot of storage uh, at the capacity they're running right now. They probably have less than a week's storage. So they need a supplier that can haul it to them exactly when they need it. That's you? That's me. It's a little wild, wild west. You know, it's not business as usual. You just, you do what you gotta do. But again, this is something that we could do, something we felt we needed to do and should do. So we're just gonna keep cranking. Pete Bargarad's not exactly sure when his hand sanitizer business will transform back into the bourbon whiskey business. But either way, just down the road, there's plenty of corn here waiting for him.